So you're thinking about getting a house of your own, but you're still trying to convince yourself to build your own house as opposed to buying an existing one. Well, if that's a dilemma you find yourself in, then you're in the right place because in this video, we'll take you through the pros and cons of building your own house compared to buying one. We'd also tell you how to go about getting a construction loan if you choose to build your house yourself. So would you rather buy an existing house or build one yourself? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Buying an existing house can be really time consuming, from location to pricing, considering property taxes, homeowners association fees, and most importantly inspecting the condition of the property, which is no small task, but it has positive sides. Generally speaking, there are two major advantages to buying a home. The first one is convenience in purchasing it and the cost. That sounds like a contradiction, considering we just highlighted all the time consuming things you have to do in the process of getting a home. You're going to go do all that stuff, except you're not interested in getting something that suits your needs. Compared to building a house from scratch, buying a home is a thousand times more convenient. By employing a real estate agent, your home search will be easier as they would tell you what the difficult negotiations are and arrange the paperwork for you. Once you're fine with the listing that you have inspected, all you need to do is make an offer and within a month or two, close the deal. If you are a buyer on a tight schedule with the need to move to a new location quickly, then buying a home is probably a no-brainer. The second primary advantage of buying a home is the cost. According to data compiled by the National Association of Home Builders, it is actually cheaper to buy an existing home than it is to build one from scratch. However, there are a few exceptions to this, but the norm holds true in most cases. But while these factors, cost and convenience, could be quite appealing, they both come at the expense of customization, which is exactly what you get when you build your own home. Yes, you may have spotted a great home in a choice location, but you figure it's not built to taste. Maybe you don't like the floor plan. That's not changing anytime soon, unless you think spending tens of thousands of dollars to redo a floor plan is economical. You might have preferred there was an extra bedroom on the bottom floor and maybe a half bath close to the living room. Well, all these would be wishful thinking if you opt to buy a home instead of build one. However, in constructing your own home, you can build your home to a precise specification in line with your tastes, pending design approval from the authorities. The fact that in building your own home, you're getting exactly what you want, and it is the ultimate advantage in itself. And there's enough reasons to choose building a home over buying one. If you want another reason, how about the fact that building a new home allows you to plan for the future with the environment in mind? The world is becoming more conscious of the impacts of human activities on the environment, and in line with this, more people are building more environmentally friendly houses. We are talking about building more efficient toilets, plumbing, fixing more efficient electrical features, criticizing natural lighting, solar power, and the likes. There are so many ways you can modify your home to be more environmentally friendly. You may not have this luxury when you are buying an existing home built 10 to 20 years ago that does not accommodate for any of this. If you want to go out of your way to go green with your home, be prepared to splash the cash. There's just something about the satisfaction you get from building your own home and the emotional attachment you feel towards a home you set up from scratch. But of course, there are some drawbacks with building your own house like we have earlier highlighted. And these drawbacks are majorly that they cost more and they take more time to build. However, one way to work around this is to communicate effectively with your builder and be involved with the process every step of the way. Your contractor could also help you reduce costs. For instance, by building materials that offer good value for money, making the right choice building materials that can save you thousands of dollars down the line in the future. By the end of this decade, more people will need housing than ever before. Put that number at 3 billion homes. Yes, you heard right. Some 3 billion new homes need to be constructed all over the world between now and 2030. And according to UN Habitat, if we are able to make this lofty target, then we'd be able to make new homes at the rate of 69,000 homes a day. Now that's quite a lot. But there's a solution to this on the horizon, and that is 3D printing technology. We've heard 3D printers making pretty cool shapes and objects in the manufacturing industry and even in the fashion industry. But this technology is going way beyond that, and that is building homes. And now we are not speaking about a technology that is years into the future. 3D printing homes are a real thing now, and the biggest new trend to hit the real estate market. Just recently, a couple in Europe moved into the first 3D printed home ever made in Europe, proving the viability of this technology and showing us, in no unclear terms, that 3D printing is the future of real estate in the world. India is already in on the trend, and the first 3D home built in India sits in the city of Chennai, constructed as a collaboration between a charity organization and a construction firm but with efficiency in mind. 
This 56 square meter property was built from start to finish in just five days. And no, that's not an exaggeration. The entire structure was set up in a matter of five days, according to the construction firm Tavasta Manufacturing Solutions. Speaking on the groundbreaking technology in India, Jane, the co-founder and CEO of Tavasta Manufacturing Solutions, said traditional construction is tedious and time-consuming. People are increasingly getting left out as affordability is limited or settling for lower quality homes. The handwriting is clearly on the wall. And we are now closely looking into an era where many of the houses that we live in will be printed by machines and no longer built by hand. These houses are not only faster to set up, greatly reducing labor and energy costs, but they are considerably cheaper than traditional built houses. A completed 3D printed home is on average 30% cheaper to make. Another aspect of the 3D printing process that isn't talked about nearly enough is the fact that this process produces far less waste than traditional construction processes. This is because with 3D printing, construction uses only the exact amount of materials it requires. So with 3D printing, you've got more affordable homes set up in a far shorter amount of time than in traditional construction and with far less wasted produce. There are three solid reasons to consider looking into 3D homes and those are them. Now let's talk about aesthetics. The first ever legally habitable 3D printed home in Europe, specifically located in Eindhoven, Netherlands, is a thing of sheer beauty. Yes, it might sit on 94 square meters of floor space, which by some is standard, should be considered a small house. However, we must bear in mind that this is the first of its kind in many ways, and as such, it is only normal for constructors to start with a moderate size. There is no reason to think that it is bad. 3D printed homes can not only be scaled to much bigger sizes, but the 3D printed homes completely support the scalability of construction, as has been shown in Dubai. More on that later. The 3D printed homes in the Netherlands is the first of five 3D printed homes within the landmark milestone project that is exploring the construction of these homes in the Netherlands. The particular home boasts two bedrooms and a living room that is specifically designed in the shape of a rock which is yet another cool feature of 3D printing as it allows houses to be constructed in peculiar, modern, and in most cases, more expensive homes. These homes could not be built under normal construction methods and because of that, they're considered luxurious. Imagine luxurious 3D printed homes in the future. For instance, the inclined walls of this apartment would have been a difficult nut to crack for traditional constructors, but maybe not an impossible one. Nonetheless, with the 3D printing technology, Let's just restate that the entire structure was set up in a far less amount of time than would have been taken if it was constructed using conventional methods. So how are these beautiful structures even made in the first place? And what exactly does it mean to print these houses? Let's take a look at this process. Just like you would with a typical house, the first step in building a 3D printed house is to begin at the drawing board. In this case, not a literal drawing board, but a CAD modeling software, where the house can be designed to meet the customer's precise specifications. Once the design has been approved by the authorities, it is taken to a 3D printer in a process known as preparation. The design is processed into a digital file and cleared to be compatible with the printing software and the printing machine. The construction team then gets to work building the construction platform and getting the raw materials ready for construction. Then, the printer is a pretty huge machine, as you would expect, but it works the same way a regular 3D printer would work. Using the additive manufacturing technique, the printer lays the construction materials, which is usually concrete, layer by layer, and extrusion process. This ensures that the concrete is first heated and then squeezed through the nozzle of a printing machine. A concrete dryer ensures that the material solidifies quickly before another layer is added. The printing process only caters for the foundation and the walls of the house. For now, other additional construction work will still be completed by human labor, such as electricians setting up the electricity and plumbers installing plumbing, etc. Americans can get their first 3D printed homes for now as low as $10,000. Icon, one of the foremost industry leaders in 3D printed technologies, is looking to get this price down to as little as $4,000 in the future. The first fully 3D printed house in the US was unveiled by 2018 at a conference in Austin, Texas, a very good state to live in. It was a 650 square foot home made of concrete and was printed on site from start to finish. The entire project reportedly cost $10,000 to print. 3D printed homes are so affordable that the US Department of Housing and Urban Development is considering using this technology to build thousands of homes to curb the level of homelessness in low-income communities. 
But even in communities where people can't afford to own their homes, 3D printing technology could help combat urban sprawl by constructing multi-story 3D printed houses in urban areas. Dubai currently houses the world's largest 3D printed building, a two-story office space, 31 feet tall and with 6,900 square feet of space, confirming that multi-story 3D printing construction housing is definitely a possibility. They'll provide cheaper housing alternatives in bustling urban cities. This is multifamily housing and commercial housing that can be sold to investors at a very high rate and can help with costs. One other advantage of 3D print houses is that it isn't so commonly thought of in the material it uses. Not only is 3D printing a less wasteful construction process, but because its primary construction material, concrete, is already readily available, it means that you'll never have to worry about material shortages with 3D printed homes. You are not only assured quality construction, but also faster construction times, lower construction costs, and more suitable construction thanks to reduced waste. The 3D printed housing real estate market is taking off in a big way, and construction firms in the United States are cashing in on the trend as well. Earlier in the year, a 3D printed home was listed for sale to the public for the first time in the US. But that was just the tip of the iceberg, because right now, other companies have begun to work on 3D printing communities in Texas and California. Certainly, we are not far away from a future where a huge percentage of our homes would be built by machine. If there are any doubts about how large this market could be, then bear in mind that the 3D printed home was listed for sale has not been built yet. The company responsible for this design, SQ4D, only prints a model of this yet to be built 3D printed home and sat it up as a concrete yard in Long Island, New York. That was all they needed to publicize their work and after hosting more than 100 showings, the home will now be printed in a lot in Long Island, New York. In Texas, Icon, the pioneer of 3D printed homes in the United States, recently completed four 3D printed homes in East Austin, Texas. Together with the Kansas City-based estate developer Three Strands, Icon developed a couple of four-bedroom homes, all of which are now available on the market and each one is valued at around $400,000. If you have any doubts that 3D printed homes are going to be the next big thing, then listen to the co-founder and CEO of Three Strands, Gary O'Dell, who said the demand has been off the charts. Hard to imagine even. The city of Austin is also one of the fastest growing metropolitan markets in the US, and they have already welcomed the idea of 3D printed homes with open arms. According to Odell, obtaining permission and zoning from authorities was relatively easy compared to strict zoning laws in Austin. About one year ago, Icon constructed seven 3D printed homes in Austin, Texas, in collaboration with a non-profit organization called Mobile Loaves and Fishes. The one-story, 400-square-foot home was built as part of a community for the homeless, an endeavor that real estate investors should be looking to be a part of. The United States is currently faced with a housing challenge with hundreds of thousands of Americans without personal shelter over their heads. 3D printed homes could be the solution to this housing conundrum for two major reasons. First, 3D printed homes are considerably cheaper than the house of the same size that are built using conventional construction methods. These homes are about 10 to 30% cheaper than their conventional counterparts. Secondly, because the construction of these homes is mostly done by machine, the 3D printer can be set up way faster than houses that are built in the conventional methods. Especially with 3D printed, investors can save costs and time spent in construction. Smaller and cheaper and more sustainable houses can be easily printed in record times to cater for homeless Americans still looking for a place to lay their heads. With costs being lower and turnaround times being way shorter, this gives investors in 3D printing houses a considerable advantage over the counterparts who are still stuck in traditional construction methods. Also, thanks to the rising cost of construction materials like steel, aluminum, and particularly lumber, there hasn't been a better opportunity for 3D printed homes to forge ahead in the market, and every real estate investor should pay close attention to this. When it comes to real estate investment, however, funding is often the limiting factor. Companies like Icon have raised only $59 million in investments since their inception in 2018. Individual real estate investors may not be able to compete with Icon when it comes to raising investments, but the good news is they don't need to. Although $59 million is a lot of money, when it comes to real estate it really isn't compared to multi-billion dollar construction companies. Speaking on the operations of Icon, CEO James Ballad indicated that the company is struggling to meet up with the mints. 
implying that more people want to build 3D printed houses than there are construction companies to build them. This also means that people are often living and owning 3D printed houses, opening up a potential, highly lucrative niche in the real estate market. So how would you go about raising funds to buy or build 3D printed houses? One great way to do this is to look out for investment loan, and there are a few great places to look to get these. The search for construction loans could be tedious, but as an investor, you must be prepared to put in the hard work, and that would include speaking with several people and making lots and lots of phone calls. That said, one of the first places you should look to get a loan should be private lenders. Private lenders are pretty much anyone with extra money, whom you have access to or a prior relationship with, or someone who you were referred to based on the strength of the relationship you have with the referee. These are sometimes riskier than more traditional mortgages, but could pay off. These private lenders could be your parents, a family relative, a coworker, your next door neighbor, or anyone looking to get higher returns on their investments. Loans secured with private lenders are usually less formal than what you have obtained from hard money lenders, who would normally have a list of strict requirements. The loan rates are usually lower than what you would get at a bank or from hard money lenders. Many real estate investors start turning to private lenders when it becomes difficult to get a loan from the bank that they need to close a deal pretty quickly. It is not advisable to have this as your first source of money, but if you know what you're doing, have a very detailed plan on how you're going to repay it, it might be a good option. Definitely consider looking to somebody besides the private money lender for advice. Other than seeking investments through private lenders, you could turn to institutional lenders like banks. This is often the most obvious way to secure a loan for your real estate investment. Most real estate investors obtain loans from banks in their first few deals. Luckily enough, there are thousands of loan products offered by various banks, each with its pros and cons. So it makes more sense to do your homework and compare those deals that several banks have to offer. That said, there are some downsides of obtaining construction loans from banks, especially for investments in 3D printed housing, which isn't as tested as a traditional housing in America. As you'd expect, when banks give out loans, they want to be assured that the funds would be directed to a credible investment with a reasonable likelihood of success so that they do not lose out on their repayment of the loan and, if you are in fault, they have some collateral. Banks would normally consider the history of the type of investment that you would want to make. And with 3D printed housing, that becomes kind of a huge problem, because it is still an emerging niche with very little history to go by. As such, banks would normally be hesitant to give out loans for an investment into this market without stringent assurances, and more often than not, with higher rates or even personal guarantees. But banks are not the only place you could secure loans from. You could also look to credit unions, portfolio lenders, and mortgage brokers to secure suitable loans. Whichever route you choose to take, do your best to ensure that you don't miss out on this emerging market that looks ever likely to be one of the best for the future. Did you like our video? Then kindly hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any of our upcoming videos. See you next time.